Hey all, I'm Lindura, a city slicker with a soft spot for nature, and this is Out of Office. In this series, I'm taking you to some of the most tranquil, majestic places that Canada has to offer, because sometimes we all just need to unplug, unwind, and get into that out of office mentality. So let's be real, 2020 was a pretty challenging year for all of us. And one of the most important things that I learned and that you probably also realized is that taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. Some people might even say they're one in the same. One of the most beautiful ways that I like to do that is to just get outside and be in nature and enjoy the trees. Lucky for us, Canada has plenty of those. So I'm going to be traveling to three different Canadian cities to show you how you can recharge in nature in one day. Today I'm in Vancouver, which is known for beautiful hikes, breathtaking mountain views, and rain, which hopefully holds out for us today. But I'm gonna be starting my day in a very serene, magical spot, meditating, and I'm excited to show you, but it's a little bit of a surprise. So follow me and we'll discover it together. I am almost at my first destination. It's about 10 minutes away. We're just past Chilliwack, headed to the Cascade Mountain region, which I guess we're kind of now in. Um, and I'm loving this drive. I've been to Vancouver before, but it's so funny because everything still looks so different. There's so much to explore, which just goes to show how much there is to see here. So I'm very excited to get to where I'm going and show you the next part of this adventure. But I'm also just really loving the drive. I'm here, I made it, and I'm already loving this trail. There's the most beautiful little river beside me, which is so relaxing. The air smells amazing. It's about a 15 minute hike up to where I'm going. And all of this is only an hour and a half from Vancouver. Can you believe it? Okay, when the tree is this big around, you know it has to be at least 200 years old because you can't even go halfway around it. I feel like this trail is gonna be super cute. I can see already like a little footbridge up ahead across the river. I found a tree to hug me back. So I don't know if you can hear that sound, but we're getting closer. Nature's biggest flex, a waterfall. It's moments like these when I honestly don't understand how nature can be this beautiful. Like I feel like it's putting on a show. One of the things that I love to do when I find a spot like this that's just super relaxing is to just take a moment, sit down, close my eyes, and just focus on the sounds around me, do some deep breaths, and maybe a short little meditation, just naming all the things that I want to say thank you to. There's so many things to be grateful for, and being in a place like this, it's impossible to not think of them. So I am feeling so relaxed and at peace, but simultaneously exhilarated by my experience at Bridal Falls. We have waterfalls in the Toronto area, but they are definitely not as big as this. This is truly stunning, and I loved every bit of it. Even the hike up, it was a bit challenging at points, but there's people of all different ages doing this hike, so if you're brave enough to try it, I would highly recommend going as far as you can to the top and just like feeling the expanse of this magnificent waterfall. And now I'm gonna do something a little more upbeat now that I feel all refreshed, rejuvenated, and centered. I'm excited to get to my next activity, which also involves water. So we made it to Cultus Lake, and I am now here at Main Beach Boat Rental, where they have paddle boards, kayaks, pedal boats, 
but I'm a little bit of a kayak girl, so I'm gonna be doing some kayaking today on the beautiful lake. It's looking gorgeous. Time to gear up and check it out. to those mountains there, the valley in between them. I wanna see what's around that river bend, even though this is a lake, and I want you to come with me. So, let's go. So I am in the middle of a lake, and it is beautiful over here, as you can see. I mean, the surroundings are gorgeous. The air smells amazing, which you can't smell, but just trust me on this one. And I am just so calm. It's the complete opposite from being in the city where you're constantly paddling upstream, so to say, trying to get somewhere, rushing to do something, trying to knock off your list of productivity. This is the exact opposite. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you so much. Kayaking adventure complete. The sun has come out. I had fun. I broke a little sweat, got a little hot, saw some fish jumping in the lake, and now I think I'm ready for my next adventure. Let's go. Pot Hill and I am about to go for a little hike. Now this place is so named apparently because someone once found a teapot here and since then people have just been leaving them. So I've got one in my backpack, got my camera to take a picture of any cute ones, and I'm probably just gonna see how many I can find on this trip. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Let's go. This forest is amazing. Oh my goodness, BC is gorgeous like the trees. You do not get this in Ontario. They're huge. Oh. <gasps> There's a note. Everything will be okay. Ain't that a message we need to hear these days. It will all turn out fine. I found a teapot. Okay, now I have to see how. How did this person get the teapot over there? <laughs> It's like a carpet on the tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. It's a strange thing to say, but I feel like I'm in a tropical place just seeing this water. There are so many teapots I actually can't keep count anymore. I don't know, I feel like I've lost track. There's a teapot there, and there, and there. And there, well now I need to figure out where I'm going to put my teapot. This is my teapot. So I'm going to hide this somewhere. I don't know where, but someone's going to have to come find it. I really cannot keep track of how many teapots I'm seeing. Ooh! Wow. Okay, well we've arrived at the lookout. This is amazing! Like, this doesn't feel like real life. During the pandemic, especially at the beginning of it, it was really weird to be outside at all. I remember going to the forest and like the main entrance was closed, but I knew like a little side entrance. And it felt so good to just be around life again. Because when you are cut off from people, even though there's the internet and you can stay connected via screens and all that, it's not the same. So being able to really go out and just sit 
in the middle of life. Felt really, really good. And that's why I love being in the forest. I'm officially converted. I'm moving to BC. <laughs> Vancouver definitely came through today in all its glory. Despite the rain, I could not have asked for a better day from waterfalls to kayaking to finding teapots in a mountain. I have to say this was one of my favorite adventures and maybe ever. My favorite part of the day was definitely standing at the top of Teapot Hill and looking out at the mountains and the lake realizing that this is literally all right here waiting for us to discover it. So I encourage you to get out there and find your own escapes and join me next time in the next city.